G'day guys, HJ Bricks here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, I know I certainly am, and today I am super excited because that is right, we are going to be doing a top 10 video today. We haven't done one in a long, long time, but today we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 most expensive LEGO Star Wars minifigures of all time. So that is right, I know that majority of you are going to have some LEGO Star Wars minifigs in your collection, but I can almost guarantee that they are nothing like what we are about to have on screen today. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Now guys, LEGO Star Wars has been around for a very, very long time. As you can see here, the one I've got on the screen is 1999 to 2021, but as we all know, we are in 2023 now, so that means LEGO Star Wars has been around for a grand total of 24 years, which is absolutely just crazy to think about, but in those 24 years, LEGO has had such a huge opportunity to make so many fantastic LEGO sets, and so many fantastic minifigures to go with those sets, and so that that is why some of these sets or some of these minifigures are going for huge, huge prices nowadays. But guys, obviously not every single LEGO minifigure you have in your collection is going to be worth hundreds and hundreds of dollars, and so there are actually a few things that will affect the price of a minifigure. So the first one being the rarity of the figure. So if we have a look here, we can see on the left we have a very common sort of um, first Order Stormtrooper, versus on the right there, we can see the Paz Vizsla Mandalorian. And so, of course, this First Order Stormtrooper has been released in heaps of sets. Around the time of The Force Awakens and The Rise of Skywalker, there would have been heaps and heaps of this minifigure produced, whereas that Paz Vizsla Mandalorian minifigure has only ever been released in one set. And so it's little factors like that that are really going to affect that minifigure's worth. Now guys, the other thing that's also going to affect it is how old the minifigure is. So we can see here, there have been a lot of Stormtroopers over the years. As we can see, we've had different variations from 2001 all the way to 2014, and I believe they changed it again in 2016 as well. But so guys, let's get cracking and let's take a look at our 10th most expensive LEGO Star Wars minifigure of all time. It is, of course, going to be Chango Fett angry version and so this one might be a little bit of a surprise he is from attack of the clones and so we can see that the set we did get him in was set 75191 which was obi wans starfighter with the hyperdrive ring and so what is a little bit surprising is that this set was only released on the 28th of june 2017 and as we can see by the artwork there it was released around the time of rogue one and so it is a bit surprising that this minifigure is still worth so high in value but i believe the reason why is because because this minifigure was exclusive to this set. But this Django Fett minifigure does have a value of $352 brand new. And that is just crazy considering the original value of this set was only $160. So that is over double the price of the set just for the minifigure. That's really crazy, but this is still a really awesome LEGO Star Wars figure to kick off our list. Moving into number 9, we do of course have Ahsoka Tano, her adult version, tunic with armor and belt. Now this is the version that was released in 2016. We did get a version of Ahsoka that was released in 2020, around the time of the 501st Battle Pack, but unfortunately this is the one that was released along with set 75158, which was following the Star Wars Rebels lineup. Now this minifigure retails for a grand total of $360.79, which is just insane. Once again, over double the price of this set's original value at $150. So if you have this one in your collection, you are making big money. Now guys, number eight on our list is the White Boba Fett. Now this one isn't technically a set, but it was a gift with purchase for the May the 4th promo, and this one was a special release with the 30th anniversary of The Empire Strikes Back. So it's understandable why this one is worth so much money, considering it was just one of those poly bags that you couldn't actually buy yourself, but it does have a value of $371.89. 
That is just absolutely crazy to think that people were just rocking up to the Lego store, getting this one for free, and now, back that was back in 2010, and now 13 years later, they can be getting $371 for it. That's pretty insane, but this is definitely a nice figure to have in the collection. Moving on to number 7, we have another May the 4th gift with purchase, this time for the year 2011, and this one is the Clone Shadow ARF Trooper Phase 1. I think this one looks looks so, so clean, and maybe just a tad bit better than the white Boba Fett, but we can see it has a value of $401.01, so you are having to pay a huge premium just to add this figure to your collection. Of course, this figure wasn't perfect, as we can see there is no leg printing and no arm printing either, but LEGO fans do not mind. If this is a special minifigure that was only released in one set, then they are more than happy to pay that premium. So that is number seven on our list. Moving on to number six, we have Kanan Jarrus with the black hair and eyebrows. Now I don't think this one is surprising at all because this one came out with the Star Wars Rebels Ghost and this is a very highly sought after minifigure that only ever appeared in one set. I always, that that always does astound me that they could create the entire Rebels TV show, but they only released this character in one set. A little bit iffy, but this one did come out on the 7th of June 2014. And the ghost is, of course, set 75053. Now, if you wanted to pick this figure up for your collection now, you would be taken aback $448.92. Guys, we are starting to get into some big numbers here. That is over three times the original value of the Ghost. That is a lot of money, but this is such a heavily sought after minifigure. Of course, such a pivotal point or such a pivotal character in Rebels and definitely a must have for any Lego Star Wars collection. The next one we have here is another Django Fett, but this is the Balaclava Head version, and this one was released all the way back in 2002, so uh, quite a bit older than that first variation of Django Fett that we saw back then. But this one only appeared in one set, set 7153, which was Django Fett Slave 1, and so that is of course Boba Fett Slave 1, just with that blue texture on it. So this was by no means the prettiest set in the world. Guys, as we can see, it did pay off, because this figure is now worth six. $622.21, and if we take a look and see that original value was $75, this is more than seven times the value of that original LEGO set. That is right, this LEGO is absolutely crazy. You could have picked that set back up in the day. You know, you'd go into the shops with your mom, you'd say, can I please have this set? She picked it up for you, you got the minifigure, and now it is worth seven times the value you bought it for. That is pretty insane, and we are only at number five on the list. Moving on to number four, we have Luke Skywalker from the Cloud City with the tan shirt. Now this LEGO set was so, so sought after by so many LEGO fans, and you're going to see that a little bit later in the video as well. But this, of course, was set 10123, Cloud City, and this was the first variation of the Cloud City we got, so we did get a Master Builders version a little bit later, but this was the very first version, and it originally retailed for only 100 Australian dollars. If you want to pick this figure up now, it is worth $628.75, so that is over six times the value of that original Lego set, but this is a very nice and very classic minifigure to have in the collection that so many Star Wars fans are after. Moving on to number three, no surprise, we are staying with the exact same Lego set, the Cloud City, and this one is Lando Calrissian with his Cloud City outfit and the smooth hair. This figure is even more expensive than Luke. He goes for $820.48. That is over eight times the value of the original set. I honestly cannot believe it. I don't know what sort of LEGO fan is paying $800 just to get this character in their collection because this is such an awesome minifigure. Now guys, we are going to move on to our number two spot here. And guys, I'm gonna be honest, this one is going to surprise you, and it surprised me a lot too. But number two is the Resistance Bomber Pilot, Finch Dallow, who only came out in 2019. That is right, he came out with Star Wars Episode Eight in the Resistance Bomber set. 
And so the reason why this minifigure is actually so expensive is because when this set was originally released, it came out with a female pilot. And so people were buying this set for a matter of months with the female pilot, but then if you actually look in canon, you can see the pilot in the Star Wars franchise is Finch Dello. And so I'm assuming that LEGO realized they'd made some sort of mistake and they wanted to fix that up. And so even though the set only had one or two months left of production, they decided to create a new one with this brand new Finch Dello minifigure. And so that is the reason why he is so heavily sought after and it is such an expensive minifigure because it was a mistake on Lego's behalf and this was their attempt to try and fix it up. But as we can see, this set was only worth $180 at the very start and it now can retail for $1,069. That is right, that is over that is over eight times the original value of the Lego set just for a minifigure that Lego stuffed up. That is absolutely insane. I've got to say some of the prices for these minifigures are just way out of proportion. I could never even dream of spending this much money. You can definitely count me out for adding these figures to my collection. But guys, before we get to number one, I do just want to do some quick honorable mentions. The first one of which is Pre Vizsla. And if you are unaware who Pre Vizsla is, he is from the Clone Wars and he is the very first Jedi Mandalorian. He is one of my favorite characters and he was the very first wielder and founder of the Darksaber, so he is a very heavily sought after minifigure. He this he was only appeared in one set, which was his Mandalorian Starfighter, set 7525, and he came out all the way back in 2012. This minifigure now goes for around $292, which is crazy considering this used to be approximately a $60 set. Now, the next honorable mention we have here, and a lot of you are probably expecting to have this one on the list, and it is a clone trooper Captain Rex from the 501st Legion, of course, being phase two with the blue cloth pauldron, black cloth karma, and the large eyes. Now this one also only appeared in one set, it's at 75012, and I've got to say, if you can see on the right here, this was a speed up. This was a tiny set, it retailed for about $25 max, and as we can see, the value of this minifigure right now is approximately $286.92. That is over 10 times the original price of this LEGO set, just for that Phase 2 Captain Rex minifigure. That is absolutely crazy, but again, such a fantastic set, and such a heavily sought after one for LEGO Star Wars fans collections, especially after the Clone Wars. And so guys, without further ado, that leads us to our most expensive LEGO Star Wars minifigure of all time, and it is, drumroll please, the Boba Fett from Cloud City with printed arms and legs. That is right, guys. I told you that this set would be reappearing on this list. Of course, this is the Cloud City 10123. Now, I'm not sure exactly what the hype was around this figure, but I'm assuming just because it had that arm printing and it was the very first variation of Boba Fett we ever got. Collectors absolutely adore it. And so guys, your eyes do not deceive you, as shown on the screen there, the original set of course had that $100 value, this minifigure now retails for $3,085, that is absolutely insane, over 30 times the price of this original set just for that Boba Fett minifigure. Guys, I just want you to imagine, let's say you had the Boba Fett, the Lando, and the Luke Skywalker. Imagine how loaded you would be now in 2023. I've got to say, sometimes the LEGO Star Wars community does shock me, but this is a fantastic figure, and I can see why it goes for such a high value when it is so heavily sought after in the Star Wars franchise. So there you go guys, that was my really quick top 10 video of the most expensive LEGO Star Wars minifigures ever released. Please let me know down in the comments, do you own any of these minifigures? Which one is your favourite? And after seeing this, do you think you might go on a BrickLink and try and pick up some of these figures? I'm hoping you're not going to waste too much of your money. Of course it's not a waste because LEGO Star Wars is awesome, but make sure you make good financial decisions and just don't tell your parents about me. Please, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button so we continue to make awesome LEGO Star Wars videos like this one. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.